AIDS is no longer the threat it once was. Treatment has changed that, and research on a vaccine is promising. There's talk now about ending malaria in the next 30 years. Malaria kills half a million people each year, most of them children. Scientists are also closing in on Ebola, a vaccine to prevent Ebola plus two new drugs to treat those who have it are saving lives in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Ebola used to kill up to 90% of its victims. Now, the lower the amount of the virus in a person's bloodstream, the lower the chance of dying. If you get a low viral load, the mortality goes down to around 10%. Dr. Anthony Fauci heads research on infectious diseases at the U.S. National Institutes of Health. He is also a member of the Global Preparedness Monitoring Board. The World Health Organization and the World Bank asked the board to assess global preparedness for the next pandemic. In its first report, the board warned that the world is woefully unprepared. So unprepared that the next pandemic caused by a deadly virus or bacterium or other agent could kill up to 80 million people and cause enormous economic suffering. If this had been the defense or military uh, preparations in a country, it, will, it would not only have been the defense minister, but the whole government and the prime minister or president responsible. This has to be the same in global health security. During a recent trip to East Africa, Dr. Fauci was pleased with the medical practices being used to contain the Ebola virus. I was clearly impressed at the capabilities of the Congolese who are administering the care here, as well as the preparedness of the Rwandans and the Ugandans in case cases spill over the border. In the first annual report, the board cited political and social obstacles to stopping diseases, including the stigma associated with TB, HIV, AIDS, Ebola, and other illnesses. They also cite lack of infrastructure clean water and sanitation, and lack of funding. We need to have a stronger preparedness across the board to avoid unnecessary loss of life and large economic losses. The report warned that prolonged conflict and forced migration enables disease to spread. The report urged countries to establish emergency preparedness from the local level on up. These are all political issues. Carol Pearson, VOA News.